What if I told you there was a groundbreaking new way of building software that does not require having any technical skills? You might think I'm crazy, right? And what if I took it one step further and told you that entrepreneurs are leveraging this technology to be able to build companies that are generating millions of dollars in revenue or raising tens of millions of dollars from investors. Well, this, my friends, is called no code, and it's completely revolutionizing the way that we build products and entrepreneurship overall. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about what no code actually is, getting into some of the benefits of no code, talking about some of the case studies, answering some of the common questions that we get about no code, and talking about how you can leverage this incredibly powerful technology to build your startup today. What's up startup entrepreneurs, Christian Peverelli here, co-founder of We Are No Code. This channel is fully dedicated to helping non-technical entrepreneurs build and launch their companies without writing a single line of code. So if you'd like to subscribe and if you'd like to turn on notifications, we're so glad to be able to release videos for you. We also go behind the movement where we talk to investors, no-code entrepreneurs, and also influencers within the startup space to bring you insight that you may not currently have. So first of all, let's jump into what no-code actually is. So no-code is basically the next evolutionary step in programming or in building software. So before we used to essentially feed ones and zeros into computers with these punch cards that we would put into computers the size of your entire home. Over time, we created coding languages so we could tell the computer what we wanted it to do. And what no code is, which is also called visual programming, is a way to build software without writing a single line of code or understanding any software at all. So essentially, you can drag and drop components and features, point, click, all the logic is in plain English and it allows people who prior to this were not able to build software to be able to build software. And why is this important? Well, because every single business is a software business. And so to be able to take advantage of all these awesome opportunities, we're gonna have to all upskill and learn some of these cool skills. Another way to explain no code, which by the way is a movement, is to talk about it as a set of tools that allows you to build software in this way. Now let's jump into the benefits of building things with no code. The first one is that it is much cheaper. If you were to hire developers, for example, it would cost tens of thousands of dollars to build a first product, whereas with no code, you're really only paying for the platform fees. So we're talking about spending a couple hundred dollars to build complex or simple software solutions. And part of the reason for that is that it requires only one person to do all of the things that usually takes several people, a front end developer, a back end developer, someone who does design, UI, UX, potentially even a product manager who would oversee the entire project and coordinate all of these different people. Now with no code, you can actually do all of those things as one individual. The second benefit is that it is a lot quicker to build things with no code. The easiest way to really calculate how long it might take to build something with no code is to compare the number of months it would take with custom code. So usually about 12 months, 18 months to build something, it would take 12 to 18 weeks to build the same thing in no code. And the reason why that's important specifically for entrepreneurship is because opportunities come and go. So sometimes those windows of opportunity have to be taken advantage of immediately. So speed to market is very important. And oftentimes when we're building products early on, we're trying to figure out what people actually want. So having the ability to quickly build things means that we can really adapt what we are building along the way and not have to invest a huge amount of time before realizing whether the market responds positively or negatively to a specific thing. The third key benefit of building things with no code is that it is way quicker to learn. So on average, it would take a couple of years to become a good developer with custom code. However, with no code, it only takes a couple of weeks to learn how to build simple software solutions like websites. And it takes a couple of months to be able to learn some of the more complex no code tools out there. So this brings us to the next question. What's the best no code tool? I get this question every single day. One thing that people should understand is that there is no best no-code tool. It really just depends on what you are trying to actually build. So if you're trying to build a mobile app, are you trying to build a web app? Are you trying to build a website? There are a handful of tools that we've curated and that we teach within our program at We Are No Code, and I can talk a little bit about those right now. The first one is Webflow. It's a great front end and CMS builder that allows you to build websites, but they can also build SaaS platforms. So it has a lot of flexibility and it allows you to build very beautiful online experiences. And it was specifically built for designers to begin with. Another tool that we love is Bubble. 
Now, Bubble takes a little bit longer to learn. It has a steeper learning curve, but on the flip side, you're able to build the most complex software solutions with no code in the market today. You can even connect that with Polterion, which allows you to build AI and its robust capabilities when it comes to APIs or to database management, allow people to build quite complex software. So this tool can be used to be able to build things like Uber, Airbnb, and many other platforms that we know in the market today. Now, if you're trying to build a mobile first app, then Adalo might be the right solution for you. It allows you to drag and drop amazing components and to very quickly build out complex solutions. Other platforms like Airtable or MemberStack or Zapier are incredibly powerful and can be connected to platforms like Webflow to be able to build software as a service solutions or membership sites. And there's another awesome platform called Softer. Now, I won't get into too many more platforms because there are thousands of platforms in the market that call themselves no code. But let's talk about a couple of case studies. First of all, this is Heidi. She was able to build a software as a service platform for B2B muscular skeletal health. And within only 12 months, she was able to go from idea to $20,000 in monthly recurring revenue and building her website with Webflow. Another great example is Nadim. His company, Nuraj Stay, was at $100,000 in revenue, and he was able to scale that to $5 million without writing a single line of code. Another great example is Comet, which is a marketplace solution, who was able to build and launch and monetize their company all the way to raising $13 million from investors, and they are currently at $600,000 in monthly revenue. And another very impressive company, Dividend Finance, was able to generate $1 billion in loans. And this is Sizely, a platform that allows you to do sizing and this company is called Plateau. They were accepted into Y Combinator, one of the most notorious accelerator programs in the world, having built their platform in no code. And so it should come as no surprise that hundreds of millions of dollars are going from investors into these no code platforms. So essentially the tools that allow you to build software without coding. And this trend is only gonna to continue to explode over time as we have more and more software needs. Now, one of the big misconceptions around no code, and it's probably linked to the name no code, is that people think there is no code behind all of this. Now, the reality is that you don't have to learn how to code to build software. You don't need to understand coding language, but behind everything you're building, there is code. So you can also think of it as these building blocks that allow you to build incredibly simple or complex solutions with no code platforms. Now let's talk about a couple of the questions that we constantly get. The first one is, Christian, is no code scalable? The answer is yes. Now to what extent? Before, probably a couple of years ago, it could only scale to a couple thousand users. Now we're talking about hundreds of thousands of monthly active users and the limits are constantly being pushed. Question number two, what about the IP? What if I build my solution leveraging these platforms? Isn't the platform gonna own what I build? The answer is no. You own everything that you build on that platform, meaning that the intellectual property behind the build is yours. The basic rule is you build it, you own it. Question number three, what about cybersecurity? Are these platforms cyber secure? Now, the best answer to this is to really talk about your alternatives. When you're building software with a small team of developers, those developers will usually be focused on specific feature sets and won't be able to go very, very in depth with the cybersecurity. Whereas when you're building with no code, the platforms that you're building with are actively doing penetration tests, cybersecurity upgrades to be able to protect everyone who's building with their platform. So you're much more likely to have better cybersecurity than when you go after building it with a small team of developers. I hope by now you've already subscribed to the channel and if you haven't, please do immediately. Now I want to draw the relationship between entrepreneurship and no code. Jason Kalkanis, who's a notorious investor in Silicon Valley, says that he believes that no code is such a powerful thing. He says that the ability for someone who's non-technical to build a company, scale that company to hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue without ever having to have a developer is a complete game changer, not only for our society, but for entrepreneurship as a whole. And one of the most important things to understand is that no code is not enough to build a business. There are all these other things that entrepreneurs have to learn to be able to increase their chances of startup success, which means that you need to not only build the product, but also build the audience, the customer base, the community around that product. And you're going to watch to do them at the same time, because the only way you can know exactly what the customer is willing to pay for is by getting a deeper understanding of those individuals or that customer 
sub-segment. And then what we're doing is figuring out what product we can build to be able to solve that problem, and that will allow us to monetize it. Now, the product itself and no code itself allows us to scale that value proposition or the value we give to the customer to millions of people worldwide. However, the value proposition remains the core of what people are willing to pay for. And in a world where only 0.3% of the population knows how to program and has built every single app that you know of today, every single website you've ever interacted with, we know that having the ability to build things with no code and increasing the number of people from 0.3% to like 20 or 30% of the population, it's going to completely revolutionize the way that we interact with the web. And it's going to empower an entire new generation of entrepreneurs, and it's gonna level the playing field for non-technical people. So there has never been a better time to build your startup as a non-technical founder. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about all this, you can check out our website at We Are No Code, check out these videos, Follow this channel. Love to see you in the next one. Hope you're having a lovely day. Let's go.